Blessings, everyone. May the blood of Yahweh cover this video. Okay, I would just like to take a minute also, and I don't believe I've ever done this, and it's a shame on me for not doing it But in the earlier. But um, I do want to thank my, my subs that have been with me from the beginning and watched, um, you know, my, my, you know, been with me through the walk, basically. I mean, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. So um, I do appreciate you. I truly do. And I, and I, and I say this truly out of love for you. So uh, again, thank you very, very much for your support and believing in the testimonies that I gave. Um, because this really is all about him and I know and I'll get into it later on, but uh, again, just thank you. Um, now, this is definitely a part three because it's all it's all one, and uh, I just can't wait to get into this. This, again, is um, a, a true shout-out for uh, Jeremy Potter, a brother, a true brother, um, who... Um, has a lot to say, and I know I've promoted uh, channels. The one I did there one time, and it didn't turn out very well. And Jeremy, when I met you and heard you speak of your heart and your, you know, I did hear the the power and the the authority in those words that you were speaking of, and it was coming from your heart. And when you hear the power and authority um, in its pureness, you know immediately. You just know. And this is what happened here with you. And that's in that oneness, you know, that's that one, in that oneness, that one spirit. And um, so, again, I'm going to um, thank you for, you know, just letting me speak freely of your your testimony and trust in me in and putting your testimony in my hands um, I truly appreciate that I, I know what it's like to uh, be attacked when it comes to testimony um, so again thank you for trusting me and uh, I do come to you um, humbly because you know your mother you just you just lost your mother three years ago and um, you truly have my, my blessings there. And, uh, yeah, okay. But I hope that what you hear, what I'm going to say concerning your mother, I hope um, it's lifting and edifying to you with your uh, testimony and, and your mother. Okay. Um, now. You say that when you were three and a half years old, you were on the bed and um, it, you, the room was white, okay? And you looked forward and you, you saw Jesus, but you saw him in three. And you knew that that three was one. You knew it was being placed on your heart by our Savior, by Jesus himself. The Trinity was given to you at three and a half, okay, and seared on your heart. Amazing. And then you speak of, now I don't know if this is a pattern. I don't know because you see, with the Trinity, I spoke of the voices. I spoke of the Holy Spirit, the voice within, okay? I, I spoke of him. I spoke of Jesus who whispered in my ear, okay? And said, do you know that you have a Father in heaven? All right? So I heard his whisper in my ear. Then I heard God. I heard Abba Father, and he came with the authority and the power and the might. I mean, boy, boy, he could go right through your bones if you wanted to, you know, and it's exactly what scripture says. 
And so, yes, I know the three are separate, completely separate, but one. And this is how I received it. And I, this is how I gave that out. And he gave it to you at the age of three and a half. And he stilled that on your heart to be true. Okay? And you say that the voices, the, the voices, you say that um, now you're looking, you know, straight and you're seeing Jesus in the light and he's talking to you. Okay? He's talking to you. But it's not in words. But yet you understand it. Okay? You're three and a half years old. And this is being placed on your heart. Okay? I, too, can say that when... And I say this because I'm a witness. I'm saying this because I want you to know that something big is happening here and what you have done here for me by opening up some doors and windows. And I'm just you know, telling you what I see. So here you, you know, um, you speak and it's saying, you know, oh, sorry about that. I got distracted. Now the voice, right? So you understand it. So with me, when Abba Father came to me, when I asked him, how, how do you know my name? And he respond, He came back and said, I am, and then started to explain to me the connection between the two of, us, two of us. But I could understand it as it was being told, but I couldn't hold on to it. I couldn't. It just seemed to be elusive. It was just slipping through my fingers. I could not hold on. And it was like I was holding on, and I think I pulled out water. I don't know if I, it was water that I pulled out, but for some reason I want to say water or energy, both. I don't know. But I do understand when you say that he has spoke to you and he spoke to your heart. Um, now, here's where, <laughs> here's where I almost fell off my chair, okay? You mentioned that there was a woman standing beside Jesus. And when you said that, Jeremy, I'm not kidding. I, I almost fell off my chair. Now, I've heard a woman's voice when I was 12 years old, and I always, whenever I give that testimony, I always go up in prayer and say, who is that woman to me? Because I don't know who that woman is, right? So, now, I've heard her twice in my lifetime, and I don't know who she is, okay? Mystery to me. And... Here, you come in and say that in this vision that he shows you is this woman who is standing beside him. Now, you're feeling an automatic bond. So you're already connected to this woman in the fear of the separation there. So when you look at Jesus and say, you know, you don't want him to take her away, you know, and he tells you, no, he's not going to do that. And then um, uh, you say that she doesn't see you but you see her okay and then you go to say that there's you see beyond her and you see behind her there's a thousand faces well this automatically confirms to me that here we're going to have a woman that is going to lead and right now this woman does not know who she is but jeremy you know who she is there's going to be you know, God's spirit, God's people are going to know who she is before she knows who she is. Okay? So this is very powerful. Now, then you, you, um, I think I got it all. Okay, another, yeah, another, um, that was about it. Okay, so, I'm sorry if I've forgotten something there, but that was just really strong and very powerful. And I just say that I'm, I'm truly a witness to two of those where it comes from the Trinity, the three that are one, they're, they're very separate from each other. And then we have, you know, um, the, the speaking, but 
to the heart so that the word is on the heart um and it's going and that's when i've always said you know only um it's on a need to know basis it's within that hour people will say you must have thought about that for uh, for months and it's like within the hour it's there that's the only way i can explain when he spoke and he placed it on our heart like it's a need to know basis and we we like everybody else we're no we're no different we 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 struggle we like we won't know until that last minute and and that i can say is all of us you know and this is why i i believe that we you know he's this is how he stops us from boasting of oneself you know and i wow i'm very thankful for that you know because we are all going through this um so yeah um This is how he speaks to the heart. Okay, so now here we speed up and your mother has um, passed away and it's been three years. And, um, and I'm truly sorry for your loss. And I hope that um, I do right by her. I pray for that. 